we name this into I had pedal so if I add a new slot here I can now see there's a hi hat pedal there and if I just add on the two and the four there we go stop all the other tracks there we have it pretty cool so basically well that's all there is to it um, once you have one instrument um, in your drum rack you can add more of course and just using the same procedure so if I unfreeze this and instead of a instead of a hi-hat I can insert the, the bass drum and I just go over this real quick freeze track I'm gonna copy this once it's frozen okay rename this because this is the kick there we go on freeze uh, I have the wave file now trim it uh, yep like that crop sample sample file, edit in audition, do the same thing again, find the markers, uh, seems to be slightly off, oh no it's okay, so slice it, copy to new, this one, no need to save, trim a bit at the end, there we go, two bass drums, safeties okay I'm done here clones so create a new sampler find my two kicks okay they're in the sample folder waveforms two demos yep drag and drop set the right key okay velocities okay closing this again global filtering, crank up the volume a bit set it to trigger, no re-triggering, voices force it be enough mm. oh yeah this is a nice one uh, what I'd like to do, actually, I saw that in one of the uh, default drum racks, is uh, when the velocity changes, 
you can change the pitch of the sample slightly so at higher velocities I want the sample to uh, uh, pitch up a, a bit not much just a little bit uh, I'm just gonna set that really high so you can actually hear what I'm doing or wh what it does so find C3 on my keyboard velocity, low volume, it sounds low, if I hit it really hard, it sounds pitched, of course I don't want it that high, something like that is good. Gives it a bit more of a of a real drum feel. Yeah, this is good to go. Uh, rename it. Sorry, make it into a sampler first, of course. So, sampler to sampler. There we have it. Drag and drop. There we have it. I can now delete that and now add the kick to my drum rack. So, now I have. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. Next thing I'm gonna do is rename this. Okay, done. And now I can save this in the drum racks. Here, there is already one, so I'm just gonna add. Hoppla. There we go. I now have my very own drum rack that I just can drag and drop to any file and of course I can still make changes to it so here it is it's my my drum kit um, the pieces in here I can still edit those so as you can see simpler I can still go to the sampler and maybe make some uh, adjustments that save it again or whatever uh, so it's your own very own uh, drum rack you can do with it whatever you want 